Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey where I've had to think long and hard about this but I decided that Ubisoft has won and I spent ten dollars on Helix credits so that I could afford to buy the permanent XP boost. So you win! You and Ubisoft have been playing this game for just over 50 hours, and I'm only level 32. It's a little ridiculous, and I would love to be able to play the DLC at some point. So, <laughs> do I want to buy a permanent XP boost? Yes, I do. I mean, not really, but I'm going to. So, there we go. We did it. We spent more monies than we needed to on the game. And maybe I should have just gotten the edition that had, um, I think it had it like built in. There was an edition that had like the permanent XP boost and stuff built in. But at the time I was pretty freaking broke. So didn't really want to do that. But now look at that permanent XP boost. Quests provide more XP, but fewer resources. Locations, war contracts, and bounties provide Lex XP, but more resources. Okay, so that, that's how it's been the whole time. Okay, I see what you're saying. But now we have the XP boost. So, hopefully, we'll be able to play the game. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> now we can actually play it, because I'm pretty sure they said in the beginning that, this, that, that, that the XP boost was basically how you were supposed to play the game. Like... Whereas, like, I'm literally playing on hard mode on double hard mode because I was playing without the XP boost. But, you know, it's fine. It's whatever. Um, I actually don't really know what I'm supposed to do now. I just did the... I mean, I just did the... Uh, what's his name? Brasidias. Brasidias is... <laughs> Uh, quest, but now it's like, I don't know, what do you want me to do? You want me to, can I talk to him? Like, is that a thing I can do? Or is the, like, I don't know, I don't really know. Look at all these quests. Look at all these chickens. Wow, baking, baking bread is all over the place. There's lots of bread to bake over here. Well, fourth degree burn, this is what happens when you bake bread, children. I maybe am gonna sneeze in half a second. I can't tell. I did. Cool. Anyway. Oh my gosh, I'm right next to my people. Oh, the baking bread is like on several question marks. Anyway, where where is where's my dude? Where's the guy? He's in Arcadia. He's in the western part of the forest of Sauron. Which is probably why. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Over here. The representative of the Peloponnesian League. And he's level 35. So if. I don't know. I don't really understand now. Like, I, I did the one where it was like. Like, I, I need to go talk to Brasidas, I guess. But I don't. It's not telling me to do that. Is this. Oh, is this a safe house? Okay, maybe I'll go to the safe house and see what happens. Oh, I can run. I don't know. I mean, the, ch the child and the mother and Brasida should still technically be there. But... Am I going to be bringing bounty hunters in? I feel like I am. Now I feel like I'm invincible, but I'm not. Come here, horse. Like, I'm not invincible Come yet. On. You know, now I'm like, now I have yeah. the thing. And oh, okay, we're not following the road. I have this XP boost, so I'm invincible, and it's like, nope, you're still gonna die. It's like, you still have to level up. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's trees. Trees everywhere. Stop. All right. Here. Yeah. He has his secret meetings here. Please let me in. I'm having a hard time. I'm having a hard time. Uh, 
Oh, neat. You dragged me. Uh, like, I don't know if I should undermine Lagos in order to get in. Like, I just want to talk to him, I think. I don't know. I'm confused. And I'm worried that, like, looking stuff up online will ruin it, you know? <laughs> Like, it'll, it'll, it'll tell me too much, or I'll see, like, a title of something, and it's like, hey, guess what? Spoileroni! And I'm like, please, please, I'm just a girl trying to play a game with some hints, not an entire spoiler essay. <laughs> This must be the barracks Mother spoke of. Barracks. What an erratic... What? I don't... Oh, to I... Be careful not to get spotted. Get moving! I... What? The ba These are the barracks? Why bread? Why bread? Why is everything a bread pun? Breaking bread. Arcadia was smart. I mean, I know why. It's obviously it's smart as bread basket, so they're going crazy with the bread puns. But why? Lagos kept full, protecting him with Spartan duty with his warriors as his armor. Mary knew the only way to pierce Lagos' throat was to shatter that armor. Wait, so she wants me to kill Spartans in the name of protecting Sparta? No. I, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with this. Fourth degree burns. Ha ha ha. Bread puns. Bread puns. Or bread making puns. I really don't know what is expected of me. Horsey, calm down. Uni unicorn, calm down. <laughs> Let's go. Like, I did the peaceful route. I did the thing with Rasidas, where I was like, yo, my dude, yeah, we'll do it your way and check things out. But nothing definitive happened. He's like, we need to get evidence, blah, 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 that he's innocent. And we didn't get any evidence that he was innocent. But we also didn't get any evidence that he's guilty, you know? And so... I don't feel comfortable just murderizing a guy who may or may not have had his family, like, being kept hostage. Like, no, like, most other people would have done the same thing, you know? Like, when it's your family involved, like, and that's what made my dad's decision, not my biological dad, because he's a dick, um, my dad's decision to, Nikolaus's decision to, you know, follow the, the Kreen, <laughs> The, the dictates of his society rather than the, like, familial obligations. Like, he put, wow, look at all these. There's three bears in a, that never happens, ever in real life. There's never three full-grown bears in the same spot, ever. Unless it's mating season. Anyway, sorry. Like, that's what made his decision fairly unique and, like, difficult was that he knew he had a hard decision to make, but he chose to side with, like, societal expectations, which is, like, it wasn't good, and, and it wasn't bad in its own way. Like, the the thing here is that, like, do you, is it, like, do you, do you defend one person at the expense of many, or do you sacrifice one person to save many people? And, like, well, with our family, it's a little more complicated, because it was actually a cult being, you know, jerks. Um, in situations like this, like, you could say, oh, Lagos is being selfish for protecting his family and letting many people suffer. And it's like, yeah, he is, but, like, not many people would have, I think, maybe the strength of will required to sacrifice their own family members, which would get you looked down upon anyway. Like, it's a lose-lose situation. Like, people are like, oh, you're not loyal to your family. How, how, you're not even, you're probably not even loyal to your country. And it's like, I sacrificed my family because I, like, to keep the country safe, you know, or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, it could be any number of things, sort of. I don't know if I'm making any sense. But it's a complicated decision. And one that, I don't know, would be really hard. Yulio's the balanced? Okay. Yeah, okay. The balanced, I'm sure. We're all balanced, buddy. Ain't nobody insane here. Oh, no. Killing people for a living. We're doing just great. We're doing great. Anyway. 
anyway. I don't know what's expected of me, especially because he's a cultist. Like, am I supposed to kill him? Like, I'm supposed to kill cultists! I don't understand! Is he actually a bad guy? Is he deserving of death? I don't know. I... Brassidas hasn't given me any clues or hints or anything. And I probably can't just have a chit-chat with him. Because the game doesn't like me. And it doesn't want to give me those... It's like, we have many options for you. And then it's like, just kidding. You have to do it this way. All right, there's so many mean people. Why are there so many mean? I can't, oh God, oh no, this guy is invisible to me. Because birds can't look straight down, you know? That's a fact of life. This is gonna suck. A lot. Oh, is there a secret? <gasps> secret entrance, secret entrance. Oh boy, what's out there? All right, well, time to try the secret entrance, I guess. Whoa, what, whoa. Where's the secret entrance? Is it is it literally this little path? Um Do I climb? Is it literally just a path? It's not even underground. And it didn't look like it led me What the frick? What? No, 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 please get off. <laughs> I hate Cassandra sometimes. She won't get off. Like, I get it. You don't want to, like, chuck yourself off, and people complained about that, but I'd rather be chucking myself off. Honestly, I'd rather chuck myself off of things. It's a little bit easier to figure that out. I'd rather chuck myself off things than be extra sticky. Like, it's really annoying. deal with lagos i don't even know what else to do there's there's literally nothing else that it's given me i've done to kill or not to kill and judge jury executioner is literally the only thing left and i just want to go in and talk to him which means i don't want to undermine the whole like bread baskety theme of the area Please just go the freak away. <laughs> um, do low level to be doing this. Like, how is this even a secret path if it's just like a literal path on the outside, and and it leads me straight up into the place. It leads me straight into it. Unless I go, hey, okay, I go further down. I go further down. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is just where, like, they throw the dead bodies, apparently. Holy cow. Of, like... I mean, I don't know why you'd throw pigs or elk down here. And freak ribbons and rope. I don't... I don't get it. Why would you do that? <laughs> Alright, we keep going. Oh my. There's a little tiny ruin down here. Cute. Wait. There's something I could loot down there, I think. Nope. I mean, there is, but I thought there was a red thing, and I was like, oh no, I can steal it, I guess, but it's, um... It is... It was a flower. It was a flower. Okay, do I go... Okay. I feel like... Oop, whoa, 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 whoa. Please climb. Do I go up, or do I just keep going around and down? Please get off the wall. There's a sneaky little area I can just. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making it up. I mean, at this point, wait, 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 wait. Is 
that. It's not anything, right? Okay. <laughs> Just let me talk to you and figure out if you're a bad guy or not. Too much. We did pretty good. Where you at? There he is. Okay, I'm going to attempt to save and see. And if I can't talk to him, I'm just. Oh, I can't. That's right. I can't save. Okay, well. Okay, let me go over here, I guess. Nope. Okay. This is far enough away that I can save. I'm going to attempt to talk to him now that I think it, I will be able to do that. And if I can't, I'm going to look it up. Like, spoilers be damned. Like, I can't... Like, I don't... It's like, don't kill him. And I'm like, okay, I won't. And then it's like, literally, you have no other option. Is what I'm reading it as. Like, oh, you did Brassy Dust's quest. That's really only for the extra XP. And maybe, you know, make you think that maybe this guy is a bad guy. But it also... I mean, I'm still 50-50. I don't know. Aha! Let me in! And let me have a chat with you! To determine if you're actually a bad guy. Yo, what up? Don't scream! Or I'll stab you. I knew you. you'd come find me sooner or later. What tipped you off? I know it was you who freed my family. They're safe thanks to you. Eh? I did what I had to. Even with everyone in Arcadia trying to kill me. I still don't know if I trust him. The world is so chaotic now. The cult made it that way. We're living in divided times. Sparta against Athens. Old against new. <laughs> and you think the cultists aren't stoking the flames on both sides? I've seen what they can do. What they're willing to do. I want what's best for Arcadia. I'll consider what you have to say. Uh... It's not too late. Leave the cult of Cosmos and join Brasidas. You expect me to trust you? After how you slaughter the monger? I know what you oh do to Oh my gosh. I won't bow my head just for you to cut it off. I didn't... That wasn't my plan. Then I should I thank knew you it. for letting me face death. Spartans I knew it was a bad idea to do it that way. Oh my. If people come in here, I'm screwed. I knew it wasn't gonna work. I knew not following Grassy Dazz's thing was gonna bite me in the butt in the end. And the peaceful route is always the better way to do it. But I was like, this is her home. She gets to decide what I do, you know? I don't know. I just didn't feel like I had any... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. say hey man let's have a chat it was like literally like yeah i don't know i didn't i didn't try to help the monger i didn't free the monger's family the monger was a bad guy like i don't i don't know why he even thought that that was even similar whatsoever like it wasn't it really wasn't <sighs> I saw what you did to the monger. Okay, the monger was a bad guy. Like, I don't, I don't understand why you thought he was similar. Like, the situations weren't similar. That feels really, that feels really weird. Like, that feels like, 
very forced. Like, oh yeah, if you're if you try to like publicly kill, like why would I take pity on an obviously bad guy? Like the reason I was freeing his family and investigating Lagos is because I didn't know and I was trying to figure out if he was good or not. The monger was like raping women and men like all the time and killing people. Like it was. I, the two things are, I mean, this guy was obviously troubled, like, his family was being held hostage, and, like, you know, like, he, he was, he was, he was in a rough situation, and I was trying to figure out whether or not I, I should help him or not, and then it's like, he's like, well, I saw how you dealt with that guy, who was obviously very like me, I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about, like, <laughs> that feels really forced, Ubisoft, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go there, and I'm gonna say that feels very forced. Oh, shoot, I have eight now? Didn't I have six last time? <laughs> I don't understand! <laughs> How many? Wait, no, no, no. Did I need... No, I, I had seven, and I needed nine. I actually needed nine to level up my spear, so... Well, I'm glad nobody came in here, which is, I was hoping not, because it's an interact thing, so... Like, it's, it's an entirely different instance of the loading screen, so I, don't, I didn't think people could just come in and out. But anyway, that was dumb! That was a completely different situation. That, that just makes me angry, honestly. I mean, I'm glad I was able to sneak in, I guess, but I don't know. It just makes me upset. Like, like things are different, my dude. Obviously. Like, I'm just keeping reading it, but he was nothing like the mongrel. Like, the mongrel. This or area will be well defended. Just, I wouldn't have come to talk to you if I thought you were like him. You know what I mean? I would have killed you. Like I didn't, I didn't sneak up to the monger and like be like, I, I, try to find a way to like work things out peacefully. That wasn't that wasn't at all what I did. So, like I don't know. Obviously, I came here expecting to talk. Like, that's all I wanted. And, like, then he's like, just kidding. I'm gonna meet my death like a Spartan. I was like, you really didn't have to. I obviously wasn't going to kill you. Like, I don't know. I would have thought, like, I would have thought he would have been more upset. Because, like, I, I at least, I guess the monger, I, I let him, like, meet his death like a Spartan, essentially. In, like, grand combat. Whereas, like, if I had done it Presidios' way, it would have been, like all sneaky and, like, behind the scenes and, like, nobody would have known and all that stuff. Like, like, what is he, what do you mean? Like, I would think he would be more upset with me trying to meet with somebody in secret and then killing them rather than, like, meeting them in, like, combat. Like, stated combat in an arena. Like, completely different situation. I feel like Ubisoft was just, I don't know, they're just like, I don't know. I knew that was a bad decision, and, and it sucks when you play a game and you know that you're making a bad decision, even though you're like, this is this woman's home, she gets to decide how to do it, not some random man who comes in and decides for her because it's better. But it's like, this is how they're taking control of their home again. Basically, Sparta's coming in and being like, here's my colonial opinion, and it's like, D you're not listening to like, what the actual people living here want, like, and need, maybe. You know, they know themselves better. Maybe sometimes you do need an outside opinion. To, like make things more fair that totally happens but like in this situation in that situation in particular like I don't know but I knew at the time that like not doing it Brasidias's way was gonna probably bite me in the butt and it's just dumb that the game is like yep it did and it's like you couldn't have you couldn't have just Ugh. anyway I don't know you couldn't have like tried to change that up at She's all dead. this complicates things I didn't have a choice one less cultist seems simple enough Lagos was a dear friend once. I, I should have wish you would have been there. Would have been cool. I would have been nice. Like, it would have been cool if you'd have given me any directive after we did the thing that you said. And you didn't say anything. You didn't say anything. We did, we did it your way first on purpose. And then after that, with whatever evidence we had, with like talking to the wife and the child and figuring things out, he didn't tell me anything. There was no way to get any information out of him. And is it all because I killed an actually bad guy in public? Like, what the frick? Like, I can see, like, decisions decisions having consequences. I like that. But this seems so unrelated as to be, like, dumb. Like... I'm sorry, Brasidas. 
But when Lagos joined the cult, no. he sealed his I fate. wanted to keep him alive. So you That's execute what? the manga in public against my advice. He attacked me first! I don't! If you were under my command, you wouldn't be anymore. I don't follow orders. I do what I have to. So it's done. I suppose you'll be wanting to report the news to Sparta soon. No. The kings were clear in their requests. The idea must be brought under control, and Sparta must win a wreath at the Olympic Games. There is much left to do, Lam. Marini, you are as determined as ever. I'm sure you will regain your you house soon. You didn't even know, Marini! With Lagos dead, arrangements must be made to ensure Sparta doesn't stop. I did! It wasn't my the fault! is safe once more, <laughs> and the bounty is lifted. Ah! We are free to travel without fear. Then let's continue our journey. I'm actually really pissed off right now. Like, why can't I kill a bad guy and then obviously recognize that I should have kept- I tried to keep Lagos alive because I knew that it would make complicate things. Like, the decisions don't seem to track at all whatsoever. Oh, that's so- I, I really want to finish this game, but at the same time, it's just pissing me off. And maybe I just need to, like, you know, maybe I just need to not worry about it. I just need to, like, play the game and not care and not be invested. Like, at all. Apparently. <sighs> what do I need? Yeah, I don't know. Like, obviously, like, I, I've been debating about these decisions over and over again that I keep making, and I'm like, I don't know if this is right or wrong, but I'm doing what feels right in the moment, at the time, and then it's like, it's, but always, it's always when it feels right in the moment, you know it's not gonna do well, you know, but it's dumb, because it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't always be like that, that, like, if you follow what you feel is right in the moment, and it's not, like, I don't know, like, it's not just, like, murdering somebody or whatever, like, it shouldn't punish you it shouldn't be like oh you were nice here well you're gonna get punished here and that can happen sometimes that can totally totally happen sometimes but this one just doesn't feel very related and i'm sure somebody might like in the comments like explain why it do it is but it's like like the the, the again the monk the, it goes it boils down to the monger and lagos were completely different people and i was handling it completely different ways like i did everything else i needed to to ensure lagos survived but no. And then, and then I don't even get a chance to explain myself to Bastidas to say, hey, he attacked me. Like, I tried. I tried. I did it your way. And then you didn't tell me anything. And I, like, he attacked me first. Like, I didn't murder him in cold blood. I went to talk to him and he attacked me. Like, it's, there's nothing I could do about it. Like, there's literally nothing I could do about it besides do something entirely arbitrary 30 hours ago. Ugh. Of arrows. I just want things that will let me assassinate people, as crazy as that sounds. What's the next upgrade? Oh, well, all nearby enemies are tagged anyway, but it would just increase. What is Battle Cry, the stealth? I don't know. I don't, that might be helpful, but I don't really think it would be. Like, you have to be out of conflict. Like, and it's like maybe I don't know if out of conflict counts as like out of line of sight and like I crouch and hide, but like I don't I don't see that being ex extremely useful. I think I will actually increase my armor because that's been kind of a pain. I might hopefully it'll help me not dying. Reduce range damage received by five percent is the next upgrade. Or, yeah, reduce range damage is the next upgrade. Anyway, I'm darn well gonna finish this game. I just paid 10 bucks to allow myself to be able to actually play it. But at this point, I feel like I'm going, like, all good intentions aside, I'm going for a bad ending. And I feel like good intentions good shouldn't always lead you to a bad ending. Like, I feel like there's there's going to be endings. Because with, with any game with choices is going to have, like, a good or a bad ending. Or maybe a middle one if you're lucky. But, like, I feel like I'm heading for a bad route because I made good, I tried to make good decisions in the beginning, which doesn't really, doesn't really, like, match up. 
It's like, you try to make good decisions. Yeah, you'll mess up sometimes, but you should get, like, a good ending. Because, like, if you're intentionally choosing decisions you feel are bad, uh, or, like, mean, or whatever, you know, and then you get a good ending, you're like, well, this doesn't pay off exactly at all how I wanted it to, you know? Like, and it's the same for the good, good air quotes decisions. Like, oh, I tried to do this this way, and... And I didn't get the payoff I wanted. And, like, yeah, that's life, but this is also a freaking video game. Like, I don't know. Things are supposed to, like, there's supposed to be a pattern in video games that doesn't always exist in the real world. And I love, I love seeing things that relate to the real world in video games as much as anybody else. And, like, all that kind of stuff where it's, like, you know, different thought processes and ideas can transfer over to the real world. But, like, at the same time, it's, like... Could you please just make things make sense? Like, and maybe not make me seem like a jerk wall when I'm trying to do something nice? <laughs> like, I don't know. It wasn't even, I guess at the time it wasn't even me being nice or not with the monger. It was literally just like, you know, deciding to do it in public and follow what the native people wanted me to do or follow what, like, the freaking militaristic colonizer wanted me to do. Like, why? No, I would rather listen to what the actual people who suffered under this guy want not some guy who wants to, like, keep things under wraps, like, and, and shove it under the rug that these terrible things happened and that they didn't do anything about it and that some outsider had to come in and fix it. Like, anyway, I don't know. I'm angry about it. Oh, it's getting hard to play this game! Ugh. And I, like, I couldn't, I, I'm almost 100 episodes in and I'm not even, I feel like I'm not even close to being done, and that's just ridiculous. That's ridiculous. They didn't think of the Let's Players or the, or the streamers or anything when they were like, you have to get an XP boost to actually finish the game. Ah! Anyway, I'm gonna go decompress elsewhere, so thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, even if I didn't, and I'll see you in the next one.